Hello. Hey. I hate everything, and especially when it comes to movies. Anyway, there's a great uh, documentary movie uh, that, uh, if you don't watch it, I'm going to slap you. Just kidding. Uh, it's on Netflix right now, or download it legally, somehow legally. You know, you can buy it on iTunes or something like that, I think. It's called uh, Finding Vivian Mayer, and uh, it's a, uh, a video... Uh, she uh, died, I forget, she died in like 2009, I believe. She was born in 1926. She was a nanny most of her life. and uh, But her, she just did that for gits and shiggles so she could travel around. And uh, she was a photographer. She was kind of a tall, lanky, um, you have to say homely lady. And uh, she was a spinster her entire life, but she was an amazing photographer. She never really showed anybody her pictures in her life, and now that she's dead, um, she la actually left a storage locker, and uh, this young guy bought it, I forget his name, he's in the movie, and uh, I watched it a couple nights ago, and it really is absolutely incredible. He, uh, there's even, she, she shot more film than God, and she carried around, and I had one of these back in the day in, in photography, she carried around twin lens reflex or Roloflex. And uh, she did amazing street photography, and uh, her work is uh, just incredible. Here you can see a self-portrait of her shooting in a mirror. She loved to do a lot of self-portraits through various reflective surfaces. Uh, but there was even a lot of uh, 120 and 220 film rolls that uh, even she herself never saw because uh, they were uh, shot, but they were never processed. And uh, anyway... After she died, you know, uh, he's uh, been archiving and saving these pictures, and they've been, they've just gone uh, ape nuts globally. And uh, her street photography is just uh, phenomenal. Uh, the stuff that she did, uh, she <clears throat> would actually, since she was a nanny, she would actually drag these children uh, all around these various places, and uh, they, the children recount, there's a lot of interviews of the, of the, children that she was a nanny for and they were recounting her dragging them to the bad parts of town and she'd like uh, stick a, that her Roloflex up in the face of these uh, really creepy dudes and <clears throat> they wondered why she never got uh, the hell beat out of her or, or shot or killed or something because she'd really stick the camera right up someone's butt <laughs> and she got a lot of really awesome photos here must have been one when she was younger when she had longer hair um, <clears throat> so Vivian Mayer this is really if you have any interest in photography, even if you don't have much interest in photography, um, you really should see this uh, documentary movie. It's uh, absolutely incredible. Um, I am uh, be willing to certainly watch it again. Like I said, right now it's on Netflix. <clears throat> Here's one of her taking a picture of herself in the infinity, infinity reflection in various mirrors. But most of her shots are not of herself, of course. They're of... Uh, people on the street, and uh, and uh, her work has now uh, just gone absolutely crazy, and uh, she really had an awesome photographic eye, and uh, had that Roloflex, that Roloflex, she did wonders, you know, people talk about needing all these lenses, I mean, she only really had one focal length, she had that twin lens Roloflex, she did... You know, as she got later in the years, she started to shoot color, but most of her stuff's black and white. She did have, uh, like, a dozen different cameras she used, but, you know, most of her stuff is with that awesome roll. And Roloflex is an awesome twin lens reflex. Like I, said, I used to sell them. I used to own one. I loved, I think the first camera I ever owned was a Yashica twin lens reflex. I don't have a good memory. Everybody's supposed to remember their first camera and stuff like that. I just don't have memory for stuff like that, but, I mean, that was my first camera. I can't remember that. Um, her street photography is incredible. Uh, she even made videos, and uh, she was uh, she was she was really something. You really need to see this movie. It's on uh, Netflix right now, and uh, I urge you to go see it. And uh, I think uh, go see it. You're gonna watch it at home. So I'm bringing it up right now on my iPad. It's called Finding Vivian Mayer. Uh, some people call her Meyer. Mayer. Her, the, the children that she raised all called her Ma uh, Meyer. So who knows if it's Mayer or Meyer. Even the people that knew her best that couldn't even agree on that. She was an enigma too. I mean, there was, uh, everybody said that she was like a walking mystery wrapped inside of an enigma. And she was just like this, she was like a crazy, nerdy, spinstress 
but she had a great photographic eye, and she didn't give a damn what anybody else thought, and she wasn't out uh, showing her photographs to anybody. And uh, it's sad that uh, now she's uh, famous, she can't enjoy any of her fame because she's dead now. And, uh, and anyway, at least she finally got the recognition she deserved. So check out that movie on Netflix. If you don't watch it, I'm going to slap you. Just kidding. Okay? Have fun watching it. It's really an awesome show. Bye.